<laughs> well, just, I was because I was watching on my stream and had to watch it on one point five. I don't I don't usually do that for podcasts, but oh man, Draymond. Yeah, yeah, maybe he just needs an editor. Maybe that's it. But he's long winded though, so yeah. I'm long winded. Oh, but he's he just a talker. Like, well, not not even long winded. Like he, he's a slow he talker. Pauses, yeah. Slow. Hey. You be listening to Obama. Obama be pausing. Hey, not too I much. Don't listen to Obama. Oh, because he Whoa. black. No. Crazy. Oh my god. Crazy. I just don't, don't know the last time I listened to a Obama interview or a podcast. You got a problem with who saying? Wait. So when was the last time you listened to a Trump interview? I don't know either. I remember. He talks more fast, than an Obama. Mm -hmm. I seen TikToks of Trump. Like, I oh, bet you did. So I bet you did. Obama. I seen TikToks of Obama. All right, man. Play. Commissioner Ali. Play. I just told. Oh, my fault. My fault. All right. Well, let's listen to what Draymond said. Told him, Adam, yeah, it's too much for me. Mm -hmm. Like, this is too much. It's all becoming too much for me. And I'm going to retire. And Adam said, ah, you're making a very rash decision. And I won't let you do that. You know, we had a long, great conversation. Very helpful to me. Very thankful uh, to play in a league with a commissioner like Adam, uh, who's more about helping you than hurting you or helping you than punishing you. Or, you know, he's more about the players. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that sounded like Adam Silverbase told him shut up and dribble. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, oh God. Oh. In my opinion, um, I was going to retire. Adam Silver saying, I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let that happen. And then they have a conversation. Now he has this newfound light on his career. Sound like he said, hey, man, nigga, shut up and dribble. To me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, there also, there's also another clip surface going around from it where he talks about the conversation he had with Steve Kerr, where apparently they were a very tearful conversation, very, very emotional conversation. Also, let's hear about this one. A day, Coach Kerr came to visit me after shoot around, and we sat in the yard. He cried, I cried. Um, <laughs> Because there's a bond there. Not too much. God. See? <laughs> in the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. And he just said to me, I want you to end this the right way. Also on that day, Coach Kerr came to visit me after shoot around. And we sat in the yard. He cried. I cried. The same oh, loop. Like, yeah, yeah, it looped, it looped. Um, one crazy grown man sitting in the yard crying to me, in my opinion. Oh my but uh, two, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is in that water in Golden State, in that San Francisco water. They got Steve Kerr just going to. I, I bet Chris Paul's clip about to come up next about you know, man. Kerr told me he just enjoyed his last chapter of my career in the book. Right? Why is he closing the door on Clay Dre? All the older guys. This is crazy. First, Clay Thompson was looking depressed. He was in the press conference. Oh, man. Just realizing I'm washed. I'm cooked. I can't do this anymore. E e enjoy this last chapter. Now, Draymond's being forced to not retire. Yeah, man, we just cried by, by just reflection of my career. And he just wants me to end it off right. Am I bugging for thinking that Steve Kerr is really about to rebuild the Warriors? Oh my God. That is the nastiest way you got there. Um, may, I guess as I'm already talking, maybe I'm naive here. I didn't, I mean, I see how it could be funny. Let me not say I don't see how it could be funny. I can see how it could be funny. But, I mean, outside the nigga possibly, maybe, probably lying. Damn, it's tough. The nigga know that they ain't the same no more. That's tough. I ain't gonna lie. That's tough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm being naive. Maybe I need to let someone go, see a different perspective. But I, nah, I don't, bro. I don't see, I'm, I'm I don't keeping see, the same I don't, energy. I don't see too much they baloney. need to blow it up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's done. It's cooked. Let's I think move but on. I, I think the way that he's talk the reason he's talking like that, the reason Clay's talking like that is because at some point they're like, damn. Yo. And and to to whether it's to Omar's point, to my point, Donald's point, Soul's point, in terms of rebuilding the Warriors, I think even Warriors fans can say honestly, despite how fantastic they have been in the past 10 years, 
dog, you could have had more. I, I, th- I think everybody who knows ball, Warriors definitely got one more for sure. In 2022 is a, a, a supreme evidence A, B, C, D, and, and E. So at the end of the day, I feel like um a lot of these players, especially the older players, are looking at each other like, damn. It's probably the last dance, second last dance we got. And niggas considering retirement. Niggas ain't playing the same. Niggas is feeling different. Niggas is depressed. I, I feel like that's what it is. But maybe I'm not even missing something that's totally, you know, funny. No, you know, I, I do see how it was funny a little bit. I'm going I'm to figure out a way to tie it in and, and blame LeBron James. Oh. Yeah. He's yeah. heating up. Can I, what's the connection? I think he's made a lot of people feel like and believe that they have to have long careers. Oh my! God. <laughs> mm. No, I'm dead ass. I don't. I don't, being dead ass. Ass. I, don't oh. I don't understand why everybody has to play fifteen or more. You don't. You don't. And that may be the LeBron James effect. I said it. I said it when um. They show these pictures and shit of a uh, uh, Kimba Walker and let the me. It's done. It's been done. As soon as he put the green on, I didn't need to know anymore. As soon as Blake put the green on, I didn't need to know anymore. Or really, for Blake, after he took the the blue and the red off from Detroit, I didn't need. I really didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't need to know anymore. <laughs> John Wall. I don't need. To, I didn't need to know anymore. There's a lot of play. Gallinari. I didn't need. <laughs> I don't need to know about you. Let me remember, because I saw some highlights on um, um, TikTok from Gallinari back in Denver. Me, my God. And this was the second stop. He was in New York right before that. Mm-hmm. Let's... Are you talking about the young version of Gallo? Yeah. But nah, it, nah. Get Gallo but, used to be that guy. I ain't gonna lie. Mind you, but that's all you were supposed to have. Everybody doesn't need a 15-year career. Okay? Take it to the big three. Take it to FS1. Colin Coward is starting the podcast network. Um, do what our boy Roy Hibbert's doing. Something. Let it go. Train. It's got a place in the league, though, man. Stop. Uh, uh, got a place in the league. Uh, Stop. Just got to realize That's that it's crazy. not his time no more. Advise. Uh, uh, you got a place in the league. You know, you need to advise. Yeah, he is, is, his place is at the end of a bench advising. He's on fire. Okay. Man. There's some I players agree. that can be I like. Heartily agree. There's be, there's players that can be backups, man. Well, what are we doing, man? Stage, and, and and that's fine. People retire back then with the ability. You don't always have to go out when you can't walk out. Oh, Sometimes that I agree you with. You can go that out when you can walk out. He needs to be the antithesis to Udonis Haslam. All right, Haslam's hating on Bill Russell. Get Draymond Green in there. No, he is a king. He is the king. Bill Russell is the greatest. Get him to slurp the the, the greats off, okay? That's what I want to see from Draymond. What the fuck? I'm not gonna uh, agree with that separate point, but I will say that the the latter half of your point I do agree with. People don't need to play to the last last dance. Like for example, and he did a pretty damn good job, regardless of what I'm saying. By the way, Clyde with the five gifted, another um, five. Shout out to Clyde. Yeah, with another the fucking five. That guy's mm-hmm. crazy. But like case in point, I ain't gonna lie. Tom Brady had the formula in his hands to make sure Patrick Mahomes could never be the GOAT. I know this is a whole different sport, but he saw when he played the season after he beat him. I, if I'm Brady, I beat this nigga. Tom gone. <laughs> that's that's it. Hey, you will forever be the nigga that lost to me. And that's that. <laughs> there ain't no ring you getting that matters. But he played them extra years and it was like, oh, Brady fell off. And now, now the door wide open. Now people talking about one day Mahomes going to get him. Tough. Why is Joe Flacco playing right now? When I found oh, out, I, no Joe bullshit. When, when, I found, when I found out how old Joe, because I saw it, I was like, that's a a new Joe Flacco was in the league? That nigga is legitimately about to lead a play, a team into the playoffs at the age of 39 years old, ladies and gentlemen. That shit is nuts. And this is not basketball. This is a totally different thing. <laughs> That was he a backup happen. quarterback for the last couple of years and became a starter, or he just been I, a starter he, the he whole time? He became a starter out of necessity, but I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and man. as a Steeler fan, I can't go on Flacco specifically, but I'm not gonna be a dick. I, you're, you're right, but Flacco specifically, I don't know what the fuck he he drank. Bro hooping, <laughs> bro, bro, bro is low key hooping. I don't know what specifically that nigga drank. Flacco is hooping, but 
I, but you're right. You're right, though. And to bring it back to basketball, yeah, there's endless players. Like Vince Carter, for example, it's funny, but like them memes shouldn't exist. <laughs> them, them memes should not exist. It was fun, though. But I think a lot of people should have practiced. Um, even Kobe to a degree, and Kobe's my guy, even Kobe to a degree probably lasted <laughs> an extra two seasons. Um, Dirk, Dirk did it the right way, personally. I think Dirk actually did it the right way in a sense. Well, no, no, I'm not Really? Really? Wait, Dirk, unless, oh, I don't think you remember Dirk, Dirk his last year. how he was playing the last year. No, 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 was, he, was he starting? Am I misremembering no. that? Was he starting? No, no, no. Because I, I was about to say, Dirk, for some he? point, he, I think Dirk for some point, was just the guy <laughs> that was just able to stretch the floor. And I thought that was perfect for him. Because Dirk could still do that. So I was like, as long as Dirk just stretch the floor, it's fine. Nigga, Dirk said every shot hurt. Sage, okay. He could, not, he, could not move. he could not move. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. You then he can started 51 games. His yeah, that's way too. Yeah, that's yeah, way right. too yeah, many. Yeah, yeah, I'm just remembered it. You're right. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. He started okay. 20 games of the 51 he played that year. Okay. That's Luke 20 too many. Pick and pops. Come on, Dirk. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I, f- I forgot. I was like, why did why do I feel like I, I don't know? Luca just I, I, holding the dribble. Yeah, Dirk couldn't move. Dirk couldn't move. Hey! All right, y'all right. I'm wrong. <laughs> Come on. I vividly remember Big one right play. Here. I vividly remember one play where it looked like Luca damn near held his hand on the way to the basket. And I know Dirk's not a cutter, but that's the whole point. It was like he ran a pick and roll, and Dirk popped, but the pop was like a pip. So the Luca was like, oh, "Fuck it, come on, bro. In case I miss this joint, get the board." And it's literally Dirk going like this to the basket. D Wade, let's see. I'm saying D Wade, niggas. This must nah, not nah, D Wade, nah, D Wade in Cleveland was like shouldn't have existed. D Wade in Cleveland. Nah, D Wade. I feel like D Wade kind of retired right. I, I guess, I guess right after a uh, year too long. Paul Pierce should have been out the league. I don't know if oh, right. that, nigga saw, yeah. that nigga threw his head back in the stands and niggas threw it back. I was like, yeah, Paul, you should have been. <laughs> yeah, that 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 yeah. one shot he hit in, in Washington, that was, I thought that, like, after he hit that, when they got bounced out, that's when I thought he should have left. The Clipper I, years were yeah. unnecessary, bro. The Clipper years. Now, I was there for his last game in TD, though. But yeah. you know what? But you know what? So, so to even to keep it on the Warriors, I feel that way about Chris Paul. Point out the play where he fractured his wrist. Point it out. I swear to God. It, it happened maybe on the high fives towards, like, going towards the bench. I don't Stop, know bro. where he – no, I'm being dead <laughs> ass. I, when they said – I think we were in playback. Oh, uh, Chris Paul got to get surgery. Oh, what? His wrist. <laughs> From what? From what? You can't – if you're getting injured like that, bro, it's time. It's time. He's not even ring chasing at that. That's the that's the crazy thing about Chris Paul. He thought. Well, he well no, he, he tried to. The nigga got traded twice. He got traded twice in one offseason. I don't think he he did not have a he didn't choose to go to the Warriors. He got sent to Washington and then from Washington to Golden State. Like he, he couldn't ring chase. I'm pretty sure he would be somewhere else if he had a choice. Nigga fractured his hand versus oh, the that's piston. a random question. Uh, yeah, but uh, for me, blow it up, man. Warriors gotta blow it up. Mm-mm. I'm 100% with that. Do, nah, do, do y'all everybody. think they can genuinely win in the next two, three years with like a couple moves of retooling? Can the Warriors franchise get it done? Hot take? Yeah. Stephen around Curry the score. Is, Stephen Curry is. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> oh, Whoa, no, not around no. this court. No, no, not no, around no. this court. No conversation. Any person that does. Welcome to welcome to the ignorant Lakers fan twin. We like the Warriors niggas. I told you you're next up. Um, but so it, it would of, have to be on some like trade everyone, but keep Steph Curry. You think they can make something? And Moody, and Moody, and Moody. It would be it would be a level of up. it would be a level of yeah. Clay's not making as much, but he's still on the team. Okay. He's a he's a bench player mm-hmm. making shots. Uh, maybe the exact same thing for Draymond. But in terms of the Clay Steph Dre core trio core reason that we win playoff games, fuck ass no. But I will say a high take, and this is your lucky Steph Curry's one of one, literally. He's arguably the most one of kind player outside of LeBron James I've seen in my life because six three light skin under armors don't win rings. And here he is. That motherfucker, he can get one more. He can get two more. To be honest, the way he playing, he a couple more. But you're gonna have to retool this bitch. You're gonna have to retool it. Retool that, it. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Um with my like if, if they're gonna blow it up, blow it up all the way. Cause Steph Curry's at a stage where he he does have like a couple more years in him mm-hmm. playing at this level. So I mm-hmm. would not want that to be wasted on a team not trying to win. On some like what we just had a conversation with the Hawks, like, all right, okay, let's let's build something around it. Is it gonna be, you know, championship level? No, but hey, let's get Curry to the playoffs year in and year out. I don't, I would not like to see that with Steph Curry, and he he has a lot of value. So if you trade him right now, bro, it's a top ten player, top five player, whatever you want to call him. You can get a bunch of young assets for him that you can properly build around. So I'm just saying that if they decide to go the route of blow it up, 
Don't half-ass it. That's all I'm going to say. Nasty man's corny question of the day. We 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 are not, well, Omar is a Hawks fan, but for the most part, we are different franchise fans. You look at Trey Young in Atlanta, you look at Curry in Golden State, you know how cringe I'm going with this, but if one person had to move on from one point guard, who would it be and why? Oh, it's the Hawks. You can't you can't move on from Steph Curry. I probably agree. I you think legacy. I think I think at some point, chat, you bite the bullet. I, I like I loved what the Lakers did with Kobe. I was the I was the nigga. I was the Stephen A. I was like, yo, skip, shut up, bro. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck, bro. You pointing out the point per game, the efficiency. Hey, yo, fuck you. <laughs> That's Kobe Bryant. He dies here, buddy. Sorry. Yeah. Steph, you. and and, and I, I'm gonna tell you something too. If Steph comes to the organization and says um don't get rid of my friends i'm sorry yeah you just you don't get rid of his friends you keep draymond you keep clay you mm-hmm. don't you you don't get rid of his friends it is what it is and, and maybe we, we say to them okay well, we just got to take new roles and, and also let let me be let me be more um empathetic or sympathetic or whatever it is to to draymond and clay's plight you hear nba players talk about it all the time about how hard it is to transition from being at the peak of their peaks, the pinnacle, all that stuff like that, to not playing. And it usually comes in retirement. I think the difference is because of where they are, because of the rock star status, because of the the championships and stuff like that, and it's actively happening in real time, especially for Clay, for somebody they said, oh, his game would age so gracefully, and he can't, you know, it's, it's hard to accept that. It's hard to accept that. So it might be lashing out. I'm not excusing, especially Draymond, for choking nobody. Mm-hmm. But that's that's what this all sounds like to me. It's like, hey, I'm having a hard time transitioning, and the difference is y'all have to see this in front of like everybody. Y'all gonna have to see this. Especially yeah, if, if it's on a like, if it's on some like, Curry wants to stay a warrior for life. I wouldn't move him. But if you feel a certain frustration from Curry, and you're the one who just wants to keep him because he's mm-hmm. Curry, yeah. that's when I'm like, I feel like you're doing Curry a disservice at that point. But to your point, because that, that's what I sound on, on my stream, too. Like, I understand it. It looks funny for the memes, Draymond and, and Steve Kerr crying. But, bro, we are coming up on, like, the 10-year anniversary of their first championship year. Because their first championship year was 2024-2025. Uh, 2014-2015, excuse me. My bad. Um, And for the last 10 years, these are these are guys who have built, like, lifelong relationships, brotherhoods at this point. Like, they aren't just coworkers. They are friends. So for them Lovers. to be in a position... Yeah. So for them to be in a position where they see the the end of the tunnel on their end, uh, this is the end of an era. Like, you know, that's that's heartbreaking, man. So let them have a moment. Maybe it was just one tear. You know? Can they have a tear? Come on, man. No. Not in the middle of the season. No. No, (laughs) later. Not up. Real nigga tears at the movie theaters. No cap. What? Oh man. That one to you let that one tear go down, wipe that bitch off, act like it never happened. <laughs> nah, I feel like Damn, I feel we are the, we are the <laughs> problem with 2024, huh? <laughs> so let, let's let's say it's 2030, man. You know, we're still doing a pod, but the pod only putting 5k views now. Total. I would not cry with you niggas in a VC. No, no, it wouldn't happen. I would not cry with you niggas <laughs> nah, in, not a, not, in person. Not, what about in I person? Say, I was about to say not on a VC, a whole episode. This is the crying episode. All right, chat. I'm gonna let it and, it, man. and, it, and it's just TSO, Dwayne, and Larry. All right, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> honey, man. I'm like, no, bro. no, no, not going down that way, bro. Nah, nigga, I go home. Nah, I, listen, but I no, no, that like way. that talk of, mm, I think it's time to end this. You want, you want to be sad? Mm. Fuck no, because a nigga like me, I'm, I'm the ignorant uh. Nah. You seen? You seen how I about damn time? Right. These old bones got one more in them, one more upload. Like I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. Y'all gonna have to, y'all gonna have to pull the plug on up because I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Souls, I would, I would be 100 percent on Sage's side. But over the weekend, um, uh, I seen a YouTuber literally put out a video, basically saying that like, I watched for a long ass time, basically saying like, yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm accepting the job. Um, uh, I'm over this YouTube stuff. My it was family, personal <laughs> Oh my god! But no, nah, like he he did ass put out the like the retirement video, and you see mm. like all all the other YouTubers that he came up with, all like yo, is all that shit. And I really was like, I felt it a little bit. I was like, oh man, this is this is real. So my girl looking, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, yo, Mu just that was his last video. Her, what? What the? F- 
who? I'm like, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. But yeah, Not man. Too much. Shout, shout out <laughs> Moose Knuckle, man. That, that, that was a great guy. What? But what? I, I mean, everybody's everybody's day is gonna come. I just don't think that we have to cry about it. Not at, publicly, publicly. They True. didn't. Public. <laughs> don't talk about it. That should have been a private cry. <laughs> that should have went down as a memory, man. Don't, and mind you, what if Steve Kerr came out the next day and was like, "Damn, I didn't want niggas to know." What if Steve Kerr come out and like, "I didn't cry. You was the only one crying." <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see me through your tears. <laughs> Bitch, so you, thought we were, you thought we were crying? No, it was just you. <laughs> 